What's up guys, Triproy here and I'm back and that's another absence unfortunately. This is starting to become a habit and I'm going to try and cut that out right now because it's starting to get on my nerves. So I hate having breaks from YouTube. Um, there are reasons behind this one. I mean it's been about four weeks since my last upload and that's because of work. I've been doing a lot of extra work because we were a staff member down. We've now got an extra staff member so shifts are back to normal-ish. So hopefully that won't interrupt it again. There's also the fact that I was going through a bit of a rough patch when I found out that the singer of Lincoln Park had passed away, Chester Bellington. That hit me very hard. I mean, as you can see there, I've got Lincoln Park tattoo. I love Lincoln Park. They basically made me who I am, along with a small handful of other bands. And if it wasn't for Lincoln Park, uh, Offspring, Corn, Papa Roach, Event Sevenfold, I wouldn't be who I am today, basically. They changed my life. It just sounds kind of stupid when people say that, but it's true. Up until I, list I sort of got into those bands, I was listening to pop, rap, dance, trance, all sorts. Basically, really crap music. <laughs> And I know that there will be those of you out there that enjoy that sort of thing. And that's fine. I'm not saying it's crap for you. I'm just saying I don't like it. I personally, in my opinion, think it's rubbish. But if you like it, that's great. Whatever you enjoy listening to, carry on listening to it. I'm not saying change your music tastes. But I found the Linkin Park and all that lot that I listed back in, I think, 2000, summer of 2000. Maybe the summer of 2001. I can't remember which year, but it's one of those two, and I, everything changed. My appearance changed, my attitude changed, my well, everything changed. I mean, I used to have Beatles haircut, essentially. It's terrible, and now I've still got the long hair that you very rarely see because of... Just so you can see, it's still under there. But, um, yeah, so because of those two things, um, I had a holiday, so I had about a week and a half off. Well, I was going to record a lot of stuff, so that way I had a lot prepared. But after all the stress of work and Chester Bennington dying and my dog passing away and... Also, there's one other one which I'll come to in a moment, but um, after all that stuff, I, I just needed a break. I needed some time to think. I actually almost quit YouTube because of my next point, which is YouTube fucking sucks. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I've been looking into it and it seems that even the really sort of big content creators are getting shafted now. They can't earn a living off YouTube because YouTube's changing their policies on who gets promoted and who gets advertised. And I think that's disgusting. I mean, apparently there's someone who's got, I think, 10 million subscribers and they can't earn a living off that. I mean, what the hell? 10 million subscribers and they can't earn a living? I don't know what YouTube's playing at, but if they carry on going down this road, I will quit YouTube. I don't know if I'll change to another platform or start streaming. It's, there's a possibility I might start streaming if that happens. But, I don't know. I mean, what will happen is if I do decide to leave YouTube, at the moment, I'm not going to. But if YouTube carries on being an asshat and screwing over content creators, I will leave. Because that's just bullshit. I'm sorry. But it's not fair on the people that create content. I mean, it doesn't affect me because I don't get enough views to worry about monetization or any income from it. Which is it's annoying because I'd like to make income from it. But at the moment, it is just a hobby. If I ever had like enough to sort of earn any money from it, then I may have a bit of a different opinion. I might get a more angry opinion, but at the moment I'm just pissed off on behalf of the other content creators getting shafted by YouTube's policies. Um, but if I, as I was saying, if I do decide to quit at any point in the future, I will not quit mid playthrough of anything. I mean, I know I've had these last four weeks where I've not uploaded anything, and there's been a few games that I've got sort of in the middle of a let's play, but I am going to finish those. So if I do decide to quit, I will finish whatever series I'm recording at the time. Which is interesting because I'll be starting Dark Souls 2 quite soon. And that's going to be quite a long one. So I may be doing YouTube for a foreseeable future yet. I mean, it took me a year to upload, or pretty much a year to upload the whole of Dark Souls. So I'll be on here for at least another year <laughs> if I carry on at this rate. 
But um, that's pretty much it. Just explaining the fact that I've been gone for a short period. If you haven't been following my Twitter, which is where I basically post all my updates and if there's any issues or problems with scheduling or if I'm not able to upload, that's where it will be. The Twitter page then tweet or auto shares that onto my Facebook page. So if you're following me on Facebook, which is just Tripwire, or Twitter, which is Tripwire Gaming, then you'll be able to keep up to date with what's happening with the channel. Uh, you might have noticed I've also got different setup. Now the desk is in the same place; that hasn't changed. If everything sort of desk and below is the same. What I have changed is before my 32-inch HD TV was here. My 24-inch HD monitor was here, with my little 15-inch crappy sort of flat screen thing like over in this corner here next to the 24 inch so I can use the webcam. What I've done is I've swapped the two big screens around and moved the little one to there and replaced the 15 inch with a 19 inch widescreen which only cost me 10 quid because a friend that works or is a manager of game he wanted to get rid of it and he said he wanted a tenner. I said perfect so I've now got three widescreens so uh, so yeah, that took a lot of doing. I mean, my consoles were were where this monitor is right now, the one that this camera is currently sitting on. I've now moved that so that the con the Xbox One is next to the TV. The PS3 and PS4 are on shelves next to that on a shelving unit, individual shelves, so they've got a lot more space to breathe. It's just a much nicer setup. I mean, the keyboard's now above desk, which is nice because it's easier to type. The the sort of the slidey tray thing under here, that I use for a meeting, basically. It's my food tray. <laughs> I just, if I've got a meal, pull out that, stick it on there, eat, move the meal, push it away again. Jobs are good. So, yeah, there's been a few changes around the room. I, could, I need to improve the lighting, unfortunately. It's not as good as I'd like. It's the same lamp, but because it's not as high up, the lighting isn't as nice. So I need to work on sorting that out. I have ordered a new camcorder. So because because of how it's set up at the moment, if I'm doing like let's plays, I'll be sat here like this. And if I just show you, uh, go to this one. So yeah, it'll be like this. And I'll be here, blah, 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 blah. But because of the setup now, I've noticed if I want to do Oculus Rift, the sensors, or well, one's there, and one is over here. So that means I'm, I'll probably use this screen for the tip for the PC with the like Oculus games, and keep the recording software on this screen. But because of the camera, it means that I'll be looking to the left rather than to the right, like I've always done, which is going to look weird in videos. So I've ordered a HD camcorder to put somewhere in the middle here to get a front on shot of me playing VR which I think will be a lot better than what I had before which is a sort of kind of side on angle I used to tilt the monitor a little bit so it's almost straight on but not quite but with the camcorder I already have a little mini ah, extendable tripod for the desk so I've I had that already I've had it for ages so that will come in handy it's what I used to use on one of my old camera setups before I got like this Logitech webcam. So yeah, that's going to be a lot better. I'm going to have something dedicated for my face cam, which will be nice. But I think other than that, there's not very much else to update on really. Um, if you want to do, if you want to follow my Facebook and Twitter accounts, the links to them will be in the description below the video. Um, I haven't linked my Instagram. But I do have an Instagram account. I post pictures occasionally and then share it through to Twitter, which then gets shared to Facebook. So it's like a domino effect. It goes one to next to next. Um, uh, most of the stuff I post on there is mainly just stuff that I've picked up like purchase-wise. I mean, I haven't taken any pictures of my recent purchase because I was going to do a bulk, per bulk photo. But you can get a sneak peek before I take photos on Instagram. We have the Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles game for the Wii because I recently picked up a Wii. Um, the best purchase though, despite the camcorder being bought today and arriving this evening, the best purchase though is Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7, the special edition with the art book. 
Now I had this before and and the walkthrough. Unfortunately I'm a dumbass and when I went to sell my PSP because this was pretty much the only game I had for it and I was just gonna keep the game but download an, a ROM and play that on my PC so that way I don't have to worry about using this and because of the fact I owned a physical copy it wouldn't be um, illegal so ha um, but yeah unfortunately when I sold my PSP I stupidly left the game in the console so I ended up with a box, no, a case with no game, and I lost the walkthrough. A friend borrowed it, and then I never saw it again. So I still need to pick that up. But yeah, I'm glad to have this back in the collection, along with all the stuff. I mean, I've now moved my Final Fantasy collection from the shelving unit. Fucking camera. But yeah, the shelving unit, which I had next to the desk, which you might have seen previously in the other video, it was like all my games, blue. Well, it wasn't games, it was my Blu-rays, my Final Fantasy stuff. DVDs. Well, I've now shifted the Final Fantasy stuff up to the two shelves up there. Uh, my Blu rays are now on the top shelf. I'll probably see if I can put in some photos to show the movements. I haven't taken any photos of Final Fantasy stuff, but I've taken loads of photos of that. If I've got a vlog showing off my collection, so feel free to check that out. Um, but yeah, so I've done a bit of shifting around. I'm much happier with it now. I seem to have a bit more space than I did before because of the way I've switched it around. I mean, this part of the desk of the L shape is shorter, which I figured would be better for the smaller monitor, whereas this side's bigger for the big monitor, so it makes more sense. So I should have done it that way to begin with. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, videos will be back this evening. There's only one video tonight after this, and that is Until Dawn, part three, I believe. And then the schedule that I currently have, uh, tomorrow, Root of Evil and Color Symphony 2. Uh, Thursday is More Detention. Freaking love that game. Uh, the next, another part of Until Dawn. And then Friday, I've got a VR game to record. Ooh, Araya. I've not tried that yet. I'll probably be recording that either to, well, probably tomorrow, so I can use my camcorder tomorrow with it, because that'll be arriving, I think, between ten, seven and ten o'clock this evening from Argos. It's a late delivery, but it's same day, so awesome. So yeah, that's this week. I normally have the schedule posted on my about page on the channel, but because of how often it changes and how often something comes up where I can't upload I figured there's no point in having a schedule I'll just upload when I can and hopefully you guys will still enjoy the videos <laughs> but um yeah that's it so my apologies for the absence I'm so sorry to all of you that keep up with my content I know there's some of you have been waiting on the next parts of detention and until dawn but yeah all that shit happened and I just needed to break I mean I was still upset last night watching Linkin Park videos on YouTube. That hit me so hard. Probably of all the things which has happened over the last couple months, that's the thing that's hit me the hardest. And it, I'm still not over it. I mean, I cried when Michael Jackson and Robin Williams died because they were big influences on me growing up. They, Robin Williams made me laugh more than any other person growing up. Michael Jackson's music was what I used to listen to a lot. But Chester Bennington and Lincoln Park, they meant more to me, obviously, as I've got them freaking tattooed on me. Um, but yeah, so that was very hard hitting. So it's going to take me a little while to get over that. I can listen to music fine without getting too upset. But when I watch the videos and I see him, it just hits hard. I mean, there he had an amazing talent and he's such an amazing guy. And I'm just glad that I got to see them live. Sonosphere Festival 2009 but yeah thank you very much for watching and hopefully there won't be any more absences unless it's just like one day that I can cope with but um, yeah thank you very much for watching and as always I shall see you in the next video bye bye